Hey guys, welcome back to this video series all about um, understanding uh, the parameters around uh, designing in tropical and humid locations. Um, this next instalment uh, takes uh, the sketch uh, exercise that we were working on last week a little bit forward. Um, starting to uh, zone in on this area here um, over how uh, this, this roof structure could um, potentially link up with uh, this existing stone wall. Uh, so just a quick recap, um, I was uh, revisiting ideas um, and uh, intentions for the site and uh, I, can't, I, well, I started to consider this, this idea of um, having a completely uh, raised uh, attic essentially um, for people to stay in um, where you'd have, it would be supported by some kind of uh, wooden uh, framework um, and uh, this would all be uh, completely open but potentially still uh, with a raised platform um, for people and the community to hold small uh, intimate events in uh, but then also having the potential to um, uh, to stay uh, at the site uh, effectively inside a type of roof structure in in the roof and um, the, there were questions over managing and balancing uh, ventilation opportunities but also how to support structurally uh, this new uh, intervention um, alongside the existing stone wall. So I went away and I worked on uh, a detail um, at one to 20 scale, uh, just looking at that junction a little bit further. And um, so after doing some, uh, some reading, uh, I've come up with a solution that um, that would that would mean that this the existing stone wall would um, support at one point uh, the new intervention the roof um, and I can go into this a little bit further and I'll start at, I'll work my way up so we've got the existing stone wall here and uh, the area in which I said could be used by the community um, for you know uh, events or um, get-togethers uh, something along them lines. Uh, you could, um, in keeping with the original idea to raise the structure, you could still have this in place. So we can raise, um, we can raise the space up uh, by use of um, like a basic platform um, that could be supported on these sleepers, uh, which are just um, quite long, uh, uh, effectively like just like planks of wood um, that could just raise up the ground and that raise up the floor uh, boards here, which could. Um, just limit the amount of excavation and damage that would be done on the, the actual the ground underneath and this could wrap around that wall and it would continue into the more intimate spaces within the actual existing um within the existing place uh and this this would then support a a type of column that would uh, extend up into the roof uh, to provide a lot more structural support so when you're building in more windier climates, it's quite good to have like a kind of cross bracing uh, so that rather than just having two vertical strands holding up a structure, it's good to reinforce it by uh, putting in uh, a structural member um, that sits on the diagonal just to give a bit more structural integrity. Um, and then with the existing wall, there are always questions over how do we, um, how do we work with this wall in a way that doesn't um, create too much damage uh, but also how can we um, allow the user of the space to still be able to experience that and um, uh, the material side of it. So uh, there are already these existing bamboo uh, branches that provide a kind of makeshift ad hoc canopy, um, which tells me that uh, bamboo is a local resource. I know it is because I've uh, visited uh, the Caribbean um, a number of times and I know that bamboo grows frequently and can grow there within the climate conditions. So. Um, it, it makes a lot of sense for me to reuse that type of material um, just to limit the amount of transport of materials and it can be grown on site. So um, with this, if you were to kind of mimic uh, the existing uh, material here to create some of the roof members, what you've got here is a, um, a lintel. So this uh, sits over um, windows normally and it's it's the, it's the structural member that where you've got um, your everyday window uh, you've got this um, 
you've got this uh, uh, this structural member that sits across the top, and what it does is it supports the the wall um, that is uh, above the window and between the ceiling. So you could see that in your own house, but in this case, the lintel serves the purpose to raise up the roof structure to allow uh, ventilation to come through the building because I had challenges over hot air getting trapped down in this space, rising up, not having an area to leave, um, and then it would heat up uh, the attic space where people might be able to sleep or spend time um, during the night time or whatever. So um, this, adding in this lintel here, and unfortunately because of the section we can't see the, the angle, but these, uh, these effectively act like cubes that sit stagnated across like the length of the wall. So they form windows uh, with a column of tied together bamboo branches, um, which is a technique that is used a lot in developing countries, in uh, tropical countries, because bamboo has such great structural qualities. And um, sometimes if the materials aren't there to just get uh, a, a beam or a column that is uh, that fits the right dimensions, it's, it's always a good idea to um, reuse the materials that you've got and branch them together, cling them together using string and rope. So in this case, this lintel raises up the roof structure and supports a effectively a long beam that runs adjacent and parallel to the existing stone wall along the top. And then through these areas here, you've got space for ventilation. This means the hot air that gathers down in this community space can rise up and before it has a chance to reach the people who might be sleeping in this space, it has a chance to leave um, and uh, allowing cool air to come in here and hot air can, can, can leave and equally, this section doesn't show here, but there, this would be mimics over here. So it's got two opportunities to leave here. Um, the, uh, then you would have a structural beam uh, again, that that could be made out of bamboo um, and using um, uh, different types of uh, uh, joining uh, joinery techniques, you could um, you could quite easily, I believe, uh, manage to uh, find a way to uh, uh, to attach the beam to these to this beam of uh, bamboo columns here, beams here, um, and then out here. Um, they support a floor system which is just a simple um, uh, collection of floorboards uh, in this case uh, which could support ultimately uh, the small living space totally designed to be small ad hoc just for sleeping um, the caribbean is too nice a place and uh, uh, incredible a place to sit indoors so in this case uh, the use for the accommodation is purely to sleep because the expectation is that people are going to be out and exploring and walking and hiking and doing lots of other different things. So um, you could take a small futon bed um, or something like that. It's really simple, um, nothing fancy about it um, because the experience I'm trying to get is in the architecture and the architecture here encourages people to explore the place and in a way it's kind of like it's a building that encourages you to go outside and that's that relationship I'm trying to find between the inside and the outside. Um, so if I move on to uh, some more details in the roof, these circles uh, effectively represent more, uh, potentially in this case, bamboo, um, bamboo branches. In this case, they're going to be used like purlins, but what uh, you can do um, in humid areas, um, so my research has led me, is to, uh, in, in order to create a, a roof, uh, canopy and material, uh, you can use reeds, which are a type of plant, um, and you can um, work with this plant. I've seen it on site and I've read uh, some research into this where if you take the plant, uh, it looks like, well, I won't describe how it looks like, but it, you, what you do is you, you split it and you take it through a process to the point where you can uh, you can weave it together so it becomes like a kind of fabric as such and in this case what you do is you uh, take the, the reeds which could be here and they are effectively uh, wrapped around and attached to the bamboo uh, 
to bamboo beam, purlin, sorry, I should say. Um, and then you take a small batten. In this case, there could be smaller types of bamboo branches and the batten effectively just clamps it down uh, to uh, the main purlin. And then what it does is it basically sits, uh, sits over the rafters, which in this case, again, might be bamboo or a type of local timber material, something like that. Um, and that's how that would work. So that's a really interesting way to approach roofs. Um, also, you can have a uh, you can have another window up here uh, again, and this serves primarily ventilation um, uh, purposes. So you know, even though the hot air has a chance to leave, any hot air generated in this space, particularly by the people or person who's staying in there, um, by having an opening in here. It means the hot air can quite easily escape, and again, that would be mirrored on this side. Um, you could have uh, small gutter systems that are in place here, and also you could have a small one up at the top here, uh, where the two rafters cross over. Um, and yeah, this is what I'm working with at the moment, so I'll leave it there for now. And uh, please leave comments, feedback. Hope you're enjoying these videos. I certainly certainly am enjoying making them. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.